this is Diana, your favorite astronaut. Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays for everybody, para todos por igual. And what a great gift we got from Warp Lab. The new app is out. And if you haven't uh, upgraded yet or doing the update, go ahead and do it because it's very easy. It just takes a few minutes and it's working great. I want to tell you a little bit update on the uh, latest uh, Dwarf Telescope giveaway. And unfortunately, and anyone can see it, we didn't make the numbers. And I don't know why there was a lot going on in the last two couple of weeks or so in YouTube. So we didn't make the number that I need to make in order for me to give another Dwarf Telescope. This is my promise to you. As soon as I do another giveaway, which we're going to do as Dwarf Lab has a lot of surprises in the near, near future, what I'm going to do is all of you that came to my video and wrote the comment and like it, you're going to have a double chance on my next giveaway. Just to say thank you for all of the comments and all of the support uh, for Tristan's video of the moon, which I think was a beautiful video. So just stay tuned because we have more surprises from Dwarf Lab. Very good. So uh, you can get the app, obviously, at the uh, uh, Dwarf Lab page. And uh, one of the things that are important here uh, during the installation, because I did have this problem, um, the first time I did the upgrade, tried to do the upgrade, now it was the tester version, uh, it didn't install through the uh, Play Store, so I had a lot of problems. Now I can see that they added a download app. AP key file, which is the only way I was able to download it, and I used uh, Android. So if you get any problems with the uh, installation, just go here, and you have to have the telescope connected to the computer, and it does everything automatically. So that's a very good feature. Good. So here I am with my dwarf telescope, <laughs> my little companion that never fails it's always there for me and uh, so now we have this is the new view of the uh, new app which i have been seeing it for a while but if it's new for you it looks very good and here's a, a very cool feature right away uh, and it's to turn on and off the light indicators which are right here, this ones. And this is actually very helpful if you are a little bit more advanced into astrophotography, as um, you know very well that any light is going to bother you. It bothers me for sure. I have uh, pieces of black tape everywhere on my sky dome. I cover everything, the lights from the... Uh, uh, the hard drives, I mean, any light, I'll just go and put black tapes as it shows in the images. So now we have this new feature here that I really enjoy a lot. Let's just go ahead and give it a little test here. So if we turn it off, I need to do it on the app. So there you go, that's the big light. And the battery indicator, gone if you don't want it. If you want it, then just go ahead and turn it back. But I mean, this is a very cool feature. Uh, somebody probably told them, hey, you need to have a switch for those lights. <laughs> so I have my tablet here as I use my um, dwarf tool with the tablet. And let's just go ahead and connect. Let's just go ahead and have a quick view over the Astro Mall, which is the one that we are here right now. And uh, everything it's self-explanatory. It has the instructions. Uh, I think it's easier. Everything is easier to read. And we have uh, some major improvements on the uh, joystick that was giving me so many uh, so much work at the beginning. I my first video. I even got an email from Dwarf Lab. That's how the whole conversation started. Say, hey, you need to, uh, you need to uh, go easy with the joystick. You can, you know. I say, I, it's too hard for me. That joystick was way too sensitive. So now we have here 
speed for the joystick so from nothing to super fast which let me just go ahead and see what happens here okay so here i am <laughs> Let's just go ahead and have a quick view over the Astro Mall, which is the one that we are here right now. And uh, everything, it's self-explanatory. It has the instructions. Uh, I think it's easier. Everything is easier to read. The uh, calibration, I have shown this so many times. It's still great and calibrates perfectly. The star targets, this is absolutely one of their big features and it has around 500 new target sky objects and they are cataloged by different categories, solar and lunar. And of course, we only have two <laughs> nebulas. They are, they have a lot of them. Some of them, they still need the images. Hopefully I can start photographing all of this and provide it to them. And galaxies. We have a whole catalog of galaxies. And also, uh, as soon as you uh, try to find an object, let's say you don't know anything about astrophotography and apps and locations and latitude and all those details that we know, um, it's going to tell you right away if the uh, sky object it's below the horizon or if it's out of the reach in that specific moment for the telescope which is very good so it's if it says no just click on another one and the star cluster is my favorite of course a bunch of them and then we have the planets and of course the stars and i love the stars we love stars and always you can uh, do uh, manually you can always put uh, the uh, coordinates the right ascension and declination that's very easy to do if you have the right app there are so many apps to do that and of course that's where you will confirm right here and it goes straight into your sky object and I am telling you if something this telescope is precise I am so impressed. My sky watcher out there with all the whistles and bells and estrellitas and caracolitos and everything that it has, uh, bling bling and features, doesn't do that. I have to work a little bit hard to find my objects, okay? So sometimes I have to um, frame them a few times. This telescope so far and all this time that I have used it, it has always put the sky object right in the center, perfectly framed. That's a great, great feature. And the new big update, it's the binding one by one and they have it here as 4K. You can still do your uh, two by two or 2K. Now I have to say that when you're using 4K, the files are big. So plan on having your computer to work a lot to process all those images, especially if you are going to do image calibration. For example, in Pix Inside, it took uh, a long time. So I have to leave them at night and just do the calibration even though that I have an amazing computer with a great uh, a, a graphic card and everything but they are big files as we are doing more high resolution the curves yes look how beautiful now everything is and you can always play with that you can save it uh, you can do a reset this is a beautiful and great improvement if you enjoy my videos or if you don't enjoy them at all, <laughs> please consider to subscribe to my channel and just do like this. Click like. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. And last but not least, the most important one, the photo album that we have. Uh, I think it looks much better. I mean, we're doing all of this to see our images. So the photo album works really good, as you can see here. Let's just go ahead and start with the new app, Dwarf 2 Telescope and Orion Nebula, the Pleiades, M78, and some trees that were right on the way, as always. <laughs> this telescope is so precise that I often do a calibration with the three in front of me without even knowing it. And it's always perfect. Woohoo! <laughs> 
<laughs> Tonight, it's a beautiful, spectacular night. And I am photographing right now the Pleiades. And if you can see right there in the right corner, I'm starting to see meteors because it's uh, above where the uh, meteor shower is happening or will happen more around 10 p.m. Yes, I already checked uh, my app, Photo Pills. Highly recommend it. You need to use Photo Pills. In the meantime, I decided just to start photographing M45, which is so beautiful. Look how good it's doing. Um, right now, it's just 57 images in 57 stacked and they are at 13 seconds this was an absolute quick setup i am photographing with the uh, sky watcher out there the uh, funnel cloud nebula that if i can get that image i hope i can get a grammy i mean a nasa award for it this is easy photography as easy as it can get remember even a kid can do it Tristan did it with the moon. I wish he's here tonight with me, but um, he is right now in the Nashville area where he is from. It's almost 10 p.m., 9.57, and from everything that I see, um, recommends to start around now, 10 p.m., and it's still on its peak, but it's supposed to be like um, 74 per hour. <laughs> and when I don't want them, I'm always deleting them with cosmetic correction and fixing size. And I am right on target. That's caster. And so we'll see what happens. I'll come back and check in a little bit. In the meantime, it will be recording and it will be... Um, See if I can see one at least. Hi. Well, um, I couldn't get the meteors tonight. I don't know. They were somewhere else. But photographing uh, M78, it's a reflection nebula in Orion. Right now, I am at 287. I keep hearing noises. <laughs> one day, one day I'm going to record an alien and then phew, to the top of the world. <laughs> freezing my butt, freezing my butt outside. It was in the low 20s but i got it yes i did just for you and by the way if you're interested in purchasing a dwarf telescope <laughs> this one is still on and everything is connected uh, you can get an additional five percent discount using my promo code which is zero five astro nerd and the two links are in the description of this video and it can be uh, on the dwarf lab website or in amazon they have a page too and that way you help your little friend astro nerd your no, excuse me it's not just your astronaut, it's your favorite astronaut. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another your favorite astronaut video, which is going to be my best images of 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. I'll see you in a few days.